Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mike Levitsky and welcome to day number 21. 21 videos in 21 days. Uh. Hit that thumbs up button. It's Sunday. We are going to get a stick trick going. And today we're going to look at a classic stick trick. We're going to use traditional grip. We're going to do a traditional grip twirl. So let's get right into it. We'll keep it short. Happy Easter. He has risen. Today we're going to take a look at a trick that involves traditional grip. So if you don't know how to play traditional grip, I'll give you a quick crash course. You're going to reach out like you're shaking somebody's hand. The stick's going to go right there in the webbing of your hand, right about where the flag is. I play Vic Firth sticks most of the time. So where that flag is, put it there. The thumb's going to go back this way. That's going to keep the pressure on the stick. And you should be able to hold the stick kind of straight out. And the movement is like turning a doorknob with your wrist. Just like that. You can also use your thumb to motor the stick. I don't know if you can see that. My secondary camera ran out of batteries, so you're only getting this one today. The ring finger and the pinky bend in, and the stick kind of just rests on top of those. And then the index and the middle rest on top of that. That is the grip that we're going to be using today. Traditional grip, because this is a traditional spin. This spin looks like this. Let's talk about how to do it. So start with the stick in traditional grip. If I pull the stick out, my hand's essentially just going to do this. So you're going to turn your wrist outside, open your hand, and then turn your wrist back inside and close your hand. That's essentially what your hand is doing for this twirl. Okay, so let me demonstrate that. So you're going to open the hand, point the hand down, open the hand. So in slow motion, it's hard to do in slow motion because we need a little bit of momentum for the stick to get around. But in slow motion, I'm essentially doing this and then this, and it's coming back. I'm doing this and doing this. It's sort of like a high mom. A high mom is a stick trick from like marching band, which looks like this. So where you're essentially flipping the stick over, hitting it this way, and then it's coming back around into traditional grip. This is essentially like a high mom without putting the stick on the drum. You just do it in the air. So there's the high mom. Here's this stick. So I'm going to motor it kind of in a little bit. So I'm going to take it and point it maybe down towards my belly button and then flip the stick down and bring it around over the top. You wanna to try to keep the stick kind of flat over the top, like this. You don't want it to get too far this way because it'll catch, it'll catch on the inside. Like a few times I was hitting my watch, if I'm not careful. If I don't lift those fingers up as it's coming around to get it to clear my watch, it'll hit my watch. So this is a great trick to use in combination with like the, the John Blackwell flat spin, right? Looks pretty cool. But for today, we're just gonna focus on the left hand. Maybe next week we'll do the John Blackwell right hand spin, or you can figure that out. And uh, let me show you a few ways that you can use this spin. And then next week we'll look at the John Blackwell spin, and then we'll look at some grooves that use both spins together. So the first way you're gonna use this groove is just on two and four in a rock groove. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two. You get the idea. Now, you can either go up and then kind of sneak the stick back around and come down, or when you go up, you as you're coming back down, you just bring that right stick way up and then come down. It works way easier if you're on the ride cymbal because you don't have to worry about, you know, stick on the hi-hat. Now, the more you do it, your stick will have a tendency to slide out like this, so as you're playing, you need to kind of whoop, 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 choke back up on the stick in order to do it, or else whoosh, you're going to lose that guy. All right, so that's the first way you can use it just in a rock groove. The other way that you can use it, and the way that Lionel used it, and countless other jazz drummers, is on the floor tom, when you're doing a floor tom solo, let me remove my ride cymbal. All right, so as you're doing a floor tom solo, so you're gonna do right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, and you're gonna do the spin as you're doing those, the, uh, the rights, rights, and lefts, lefts. I'm gonna move my microphone, because last time I did it, I punched myself in the face with the microphone.
there's how you can kind of use it in a little floor tom thing. So I did right, right, spun, going up to the small tom, and then left, left, and I did this John Blackwell spin, uh, which is not really John Blackwell spin because they were doing it all the way back in the 30s and the 40s and the 50s, but uh, John Blackwell's kind of known for it. So we'll look at that spin next time, and you can add it into your bag of tricks. But this time, you're going to go right, right, and you're going to do that spin up to the small tom. All right, it's hard to do with this microphone in the way. All right, guys, I hope that helps you out. I hope you enjoy working on this spin in those two different contexts, rock groove and uh, Tom Tom solo groove. And I will see you tomorrow. Please subscribe to this channel if you're getting value out of it. Like this video, 21 days, 21 videos. That's tough. And I'm trying to make them like decent videos too, not just like put junk up here, but like stuff that's actually going to help you. It takes a lot of time. Uh, I'm working on some backing tracks for some lessons for next week, some jazz lessons, some comping lessons, sort of like the kicking the end of one lesson that I did, only a little bit more in depth. So hopefully you're looking forward to that, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow for day 22. All right, how about some more floor tom solo? Bye.